Did you eat your whole sandwich? Democrats are freaking out. Kamala Harris is freaking out. And what just happened in Raleigh, North Carolina is as being described <laughs> as the final nail in the Kamala Harris campaign coffin. Just in at her rally in North Carolina, Kamala puts the final nail in her campaign coffin, reminds everyone what her administration did to the cost of living in this country. <laughs> and whoever wrote this speech is getting fired. Everyday prices are too high. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. The bills add up. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes, prescription medication, the cost of food. A loaf of bread costs 50% more. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's a serious housing shortage. The price of housing has gone up. It's too difficult to build and it's driving prices up. It is out of reach. The size of down payments have gone up as well. Costs are still too high. There's mu not much left at the end of the month. And prices are still too high. Everyday, Everyday prices, prices are, are too high. high. I think the best and worst part about this is that literally everything that she's reminding Americans, theoretically her voters of, is directly her fault. <laughs> she's literally campaigning against her own record that has caused these prices to go so high, inflation to be so high, the cost of living to be such a struggle and a burden for so many people. But at the end of the day, maybe it's not so bad because there was less than 150 people that showed up, including her security and including the press. So odds are nobody heard this message. <laughs> and you know it's bad when ABC blasts Kamala Harris. This is on at House GOP's ex, House Republicans. And it says ABC News just blasted Kamala Harris's economic agenda. Quote, Kamala Harris <laughs> plan is light on details on how she would pay for these programs and how it would actually work in execution. Hashtag Kamalanomics, hashtag Kamala cost, hashtag communist Kamala. And I don't know if this was a misspelling or an accident, Kamala Harris, but She's also been making these mistakes herself with hospitality and now price gauging. What the hell is price gauging? Kamala Harris should be visibly embarrassed at the sight of this disastrous turnout. Kamala Harris shares how much prices have increased under her leadership with President Biden. What a terrible speech, terrible. And <laughs> I really think that she should proofread these things before she just Let's chat GPT spit off some talking points. Uh, not sure how this is a winning message. And fortunately, she doesn't have to worry about seeing people running for the exits because there were very few people there to begin with. And without some sort of performing artist, headliner, Bon Iver, Megan Thee Stallion, nobody shows up. Nobody shows up. So there's no risk and worry of people storming off and running out and walking out on her when she shows up because they're just not there to begin with. Uh, just in, the honeymoon period looks to be over as Kamala Harris and Tim Walls failed to get over 100 people to her rally in North Carolina. Wow. And there were a few angles that we saw that made it look even worse. And we showed those on the live stream earlier today. And you know, it's actually kind of funny because people were trying to talk trash with the cheap fakes on online, on social media about Trump's turnout in Asheville. And yeah, I mean, the numbers, the, the numbers don't lie. OK, granted, some of these photos and images and videos can be modified and altered. But to me, I just don't see how Kamala can carry on. I don't see how they can recover from this. I don't see where the silver lining is here, and I really only see the DNC being a great opportunity for her to be replaced. Now, who will replace her is the question. And if you think Joe Biden, you might be right, because I think that they're actually trying to set Joe Biden up for return with the recent leak of how Nancy Pelosi threw him under the bus. Only after seeing how devastating Kamala Harris has been and how awful she is at reading scripts and is 
incapable of speaking off script, at least in any meaningful way that could present a challenge to Donald Trump. But those are pretty much your only two options because they're both tied to the money. Biden or Kamala or Biden or Harris. That's it. They're both tied to the money. Hundreds of millions of dollars of donations towards their super PAC campaign fund. And that's they're stuck with that. That's it. What else are they going to do? <laughs> Marjorie Taylor Greene torches Kamala Harris says happening now. Kamala Harris's rally has less than 150 people. And this is what it looks like when Kamala Harris doesn't pay people to go to her rallies or use AI fake photos. <laughs> and she asks, will Democrat elites replace Kamala Harris? I think this is a valid question. I think this is a legitimate question considering just how terrible this looks. The optics are awful for the Democrats for Kamala Harris. Even this, this right here, Kamala Harris admits the Trump administration had Americans grocery bills lower than the current Biden, than the current Biden Harris administration. A, lo a loaf of bread cost 50% more today than it did before the pandemic. Ground beef is up almost 50%. Many of the... A lot this was an awful move. This was a retarded move. As she, I don't even know if she's really aware of the fact that everything she's saying here, all these talking points and these price comparisons, the beginning of the pandemic was the beginning of the Biden Harris administration. So essentially the end of the Trump era administration. So ever since you have been in the White House as president and vice president, everything has consistently gotten worse. Everything has consistently gotten more expensive. Yet, you're campaigning on the idea that you're supposed to trick people into believing that you're going to make changes as soon as you're elected, as soon as they vote for you and elect you, when you could just do these things now because you're already in the White House. Unless either you can't or you won't or Joe Biden refuses because he's pissed off that he had to drop out of the race. Check this out. Charles Payne reacts to uh, Comrade Comrade Kamala's speech. What we're talking about is a war on capitalism. They want to control. Why do you want to change all the things that made us the greatest country in the world? Which is a fantastic question. One that I would love to get an answer to from Kamala Harris, but odds are that'll never happen. That's your take on what you just heard, Charles. It's Welcome. A, uh, it's a lot, right? I mean, it's essentially what we're talking about, those gargantuan big government that controls everything. Uh, what we're talking about is a war on capitalism. They really do not believe in capitalism. And, and to be quite honest, Dave, when I sat down, I heard you talking about how this has surprised some people. I think the, I, I, I was never, I never bought in that, uh, that she was shifting her spots, you know. <laughs> but then the selection of the governor from Minnesota solidified this. Yeah. This, they, they are infatuated. Uh, with some sort of big government knows all, does all, can provide all, and they are not fans of the pro for profit motivation or capitalism because it's not even about economics about them. They've got a wrap it in a veneer of economics. It's always, always about control. They want to control. They want to be able to pick winners and losers and also be able to punish those losers. When they talk so vitriolically uh, about companies, to, to David's point, last time Kroger reported their, uh, their, their earnings, their profit margins went down from 3.5% to 2.9%. Now, I don't care what definition of gouging you may have. That's not it. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. 2.9% ain't gouging. Uh, oh, by the way, they have tens and tens and tens and tens of thousands of employees. And, 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 and America's got to decide. You know, I know this is sexy. It might be sexy. Sounds fair to younger people. But you have to really understand the one thing that people need to look at is when President Biden and Vice President Harris talk, the one thing they keep talking about is how quickly America rebounded, how it's doing much better than its rivals. Now, they want to take credit for it, but we have been the best economy in the world since the late 1800s. We ushered in American-style capitalism. So they didn't do anything special, but the question is, if we are so great, why do you want to change us? Why do you want to change all of the things that made us the greatest country in the world? Why? Think about that. Think about all the amazing things out there right now that are changing society, that are changing humanity. You know, you look at the stock market. 
We're 60 percent of the world stock market. Number two, China at about five percent. These European countries, you can't even find them on there. Do we really want to be that? Do we want to be a country that doesn't innovate? A country that just saddled with debt? I mean, it's just a country saddled with debt. It's funny because Kamala Harris's first campaign promise of these down payment assistance is a one point seven trillion dollar debt. OK, but it may sound fair to those who are uninformed and uneducated and unaware, but this is anything but fair. And Charles Payne is entirely correct. Control. Just think about the beginning of the pandemic. Just think about their vaccine mandates and the mass mandates and the vaccine passports. And I don't know how many of our armed forces, military, our soldiers were wrongfully discharged for not bowing down and bending a knee to this government control and more specifically Joe Biden Kamala Harris control well here's just a quick reminder here's Kamala's crowd without a performance attached and this is in the swing state of North Carolina and this tragic video here and this tragic video here is probably as close as we're ever going to get to an somewhat of a visualization of the future that Kamala Harris has in mind in this socialist communist type America where the government controls your food and controls your housing and controls your life, controls your money, controls your freedom, controls your safety, controls your health, controls your reproductive rights, controls everything. And they want to paint this, you know, rose colored picture but this is in fact actually what they're going to be serving you and i almost kind of would rather order a shit sandwich instead of this because i don't know what the hell this is this looks like a damn heart attack waiting to happen but uh yeah <laughs> oh put ketchup on it that'll make it better <laughs> god damn what the hell is it but the dims are getting desperate and it does seem very strange very odd very coincidental that we had two airplane malfunctions associated with Donald Trump's Trump Force One and his Trump Force Two that transports J.D. Vance around. Granted, they're Boeing products, so we should likely accept the fact that they're riddled with flaws, but I don't know. I think that the Dems are desperate enough to, to try and take out their competition so that they are, you know, so they can just be handed a win in this Special Olympics race that they're running, which I don't know who would be their biggest handicap, Joe Biden or Kamala Harris or whoever's running their campaign, which I think that lady's name was Juanita or Rosalind or something like that, or their script writers or Pelosi or Barack Obama. Like this is tragic folks, but what makes it even worse is seeing stuff like this. Okay. This Hodge twins posted up under the caption inside job. Colin Rugg shares breaking newly released body cam footage from Butler, Pennsylvania rally shows police officers losing it, slamming the Secret Service for ignoring their requests. I need 50, 36, 50, 30, start. And just as a heads up, there's a lot of cussing in this. So if profanity bothers you and you're unable to have an adult conversation, then I don't know what to fucking tell you. I fucking told them they need to post the guys fucking over here. I told them that the fucking, the Secret Service. I told them that fucking Tuesday. I told them to post fucking guys over here. What? No. We're inside. Alpha 1, Bravo 1. Thank you. I told them to post fucking guys over here. I wasn't even concerned about it because I thought someone was on the roof. Oh. I thought that's how we... I mean, how the hell can you lose a guy walking back here? They were, they were, on the roof. They were inside. Why were we not... In the building. Because it's so far. Incompetence, oversight, or intentional. And there's six minutes of this footage from body cams of police officers at the time of the Butler, Pennsylvania rally, for which... Donald Trump said he's going to return to Butler, Pennsylvania, which ballsy, bold move. But hey, he's already executed on boss level moves today by bringing in a secret weapon to his campaign strategy and arsenal. And if you guys want to know more about that, then make sure you check out this video next. 
It's the live stream Michelle and I did earlier today with tons of information that you must see. And if you want to watch the rest of this body cam footage, jump on over to the Patreon. I'll put a link there for everybody. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.